Welcome back to a new Boom Beach video on my low level starting over account and we're about to grab ourselves HQ16 and I'm going to be going over what you should do immediately after you do an HQ upgrade. So let's do this, 129 diamonds, let's go. So I unlocked Grenadiers, I didn't even realize that. Very nice, I'm probably not going to use them but we have them now. So now we need level 41 to get the next headquarters and you know we're going to push for it because as soon as you unlock the ability to upgrade your headquarters, you upgrade your headquarters because you will unlock better upgrades like your sculptor. The first thing you should do after you upgrade your headquarters is upgrade your sculptor. Now I'm not going to spend this many diamonds on it. I'm going to farm up a little bit in today's video and hopefully we can drop this upgrade at the end of the video. So after you max out your sculptor for your current headquarter level, you're going to go straight into maxing out your vault and then your radar. And then you could do your armory, you could do your gumbo, you could do your landing crafts. All those have to get done eventually before you start upgrading your defenses. And you're only going to upgrade your defenses if you can't upgrade anything else. Okay, let's jump into some battles. So the first thing, like I said, to upgrade after you hit the next headquarter level is definitely going to be your sculptor. When you upgrade your sculptor, it allows you to get an extra statue spot. Seriously, that is the reason people should be maxing out their sculptor and maxing out their headquarters not maxing out your headquarters but keeping your headquarter level upgraded as soon as you can so as soon as i hit level 41 i'm upgrading my headquarters no matter what that's my first upgrade as soon as i hit that level and that's how you should be working and playing boom beach now there's all those people who say you should max out your headquarters every level meaning you should upgrade all of your buildings every level and max out everything before you move on to the next headquarter level. A lot of those players actually came over from Clash of Clans and in Clash of Clans it penalizes you for that play style but in Boom Beach it does not penalize you. You can do it. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Also, I uh, haven't really attacked a C mode this low before so maybe it would have been a better idea. To oh, we got this. At least this guy didn't have a ton of uh, health statues like the last player, but the purpose for upgrading your vault after your sculptor is so people attacking your base take less resources. Sculptor is still better than your vault, but it just allows you to uh, hold a little bit more resources after you upgrade your vault. So that's why we tell people vault and sculptor first thing. Oh wait, what? Oh, look at that baby sniper tower. Look at that baby sniper tower. Very nice. Um, yeah, okay, so radar isn't that big of a deal. If you still have clouds you need to unlock, I would say you could hold off on radar until you clear all the clouds on your map, but eventually you'll have to upgrade it. I currently have no clouds unlockable in my map. I uh, have the max region I can have with my current radar level, so I'm not going to uh, postpone that upgrade I'm gonna try to upgrade it soon but it's not a high priority the the vault the sculptor are the two biggest priorities when it comes to upgrades and then you might be asking okay Christian that's cool and all but when do you upgrade your defenses guys the only time this is this is my way of thinking about it the only time you should be upgrading your defenses is if you um, need more levels to get to the next headquarter level so if you're not high enough experience then you'll start upgrading your defenses and I got a couple rocket launcher upgrades a couple boom cannon rock or boom cannon upgrades when I was trying to push for level 37 so it is possible but it's not something you're gonna be upgrading and prioritizing over things like landing crafts or over storages i would still recommend upgrading your storages your landing crafts and all of your other offensive buildings you know residences not a huge fan of i know if you max them out they'll get you a ton of gold same thing with the sawmill the quarry it's just like it's okay but i just feel like i'd rather be upgrading my defenses than those um offensive buildings okay so we have a player that has a shield generator so let's just load up tanks really quick it's really helpful when I have instant training and let's just push along this side over here take down this boom cannon and pause a hot sec activate 
We'll drop a shock down. I don't want the cannons taking out too many of my troops. The little riflemen are going to take down some of the boom mines in regular mines. Not like regular mines matter, though. They're also going to provide a buffer for my tanks, so my tanks aren't going to die by any of his um, boom cannons or cannons. And uh, as soon as we take down that cannon, okay, not quite. We'll just finish it off with the artillery. And we're just going to pause on this side and work our way down. And we'll probably flare to the headquarters. I know this player has a shield generator, but a shield generator really won't stop my tanks. And... I have a feeling a few tanks might walk in range of this, so let's just take down the boom cannon. This player doesn't have a ton of ice, if at all. Uh, where are statues? Over here. Yeah, he doesn't have any ice, so we don't have to worry about that, and a nice, easy win. You know, a base that would have been hard to take out using warriors at my current level without boost going, but uh, a base that's super easy to take out using tanks. The way I've been kind of looking at bases recently is if they have a shield generator, I'm not going to attack with warriors. I'm going to attack with some other troop combination. And if they do not have a shield generator, it's warriors every time. Because uh, warriors just crazy good at this level. And a couple players... Ooh, we lost our hero. A couple players have been asking me, Christian, what do I do without instant training? If I don't have instant training... What can I do? And guys, I used Warriors on my main account when I was pushing. I didn't spend Diamonds when I was, uh, like, very low level, up to, like, level 50. Um, and then after that, I started uh, using a little bit of Diamonds, but mostly just for videos. And here's the deal. You kind of have to attack, and then while your troops are training, just get off, and then come back 20 minutes later and attack again. And sometimes you can do multiple attacks. Like, I have a ton of warriors left. Not a ton. I have, um, I had like 15 or so left. I can go and attack a couple NPC bases using those 15 warriors. And then log on 15 minutes from now and take down a couple more players. So that's kind of what I've been telling people. It's, you have to allocate your time. You can't just log on and clear all the bases on your map in an hour and then get off. Because if you don't have instant training, or you can't spend diamonds, that's not going to work. And there's nothing wrong with not being able to spend money. I get it. Like, I was I was there. I've only been spending money because I'm recording videos. And it's way easier to record videos when you do have instant training. But if you can't afford it, or you don't want to spend money, kind of like me, um, then definitely don't get instant training. And it's not that big of a deal like you can still progress without instant training tanks are also good but tanks are a little bit weaker when it comes to taking out players that are 15 20 levels higher than you which is possible I'm pushing guys I'm pushing up I'm starting to get people uh, I think I defeated a level 55 earlier today which is 18 levels higher than me but very soon we're gonna start attacking players that are 15 20 levels higher than me consistently and that's i cannot wait for that to give you guys some of that gameplay because it sucks for you guys i've seen your maps there's level 35s getting level 65s on your maps and I, to be honest, I don't know if I can defeat players like that if I don't have a boost going. But I'm going to try my best to show you guys some of that gameplay. That disparity gameplay. Cool. So I think we're getting really close here. Not quite. Okay, we need, we need stone. This guy, oh, this guy has a ton of stone. Let's just take it all. The good thing about warriors is the attacks take 15-20 seconds. So if you can log on every half an hour and attack players, okay, a little bit longer than 15 seconds. If you can log on every half an hour, attack players, log off while your troops are training, and attacking players only takes half a minute, like you'll be fine. Like you can do that. That's not that's doable. But I mean, I can't do that. But I mean, if you have a job, then that's not doable. But you, you know what I mean. It doesn't take long. So one more thing I should mention is a lot of times 
when you upgrade your headquarters to the next level and your storages were maxed out at the level under you, you're going to have something like this where I cannot physically store 128,000 iron. But you know what? I have diamonds. I don't care. I'm going to try to collect as much stone as I can and then gym it up. But if you can't gym it up, then upgrade your iron as fast as possible because you really, really, really have to upgrade your sculptor as soon as you can because an extra statue space, like I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but that's 20% more resource reward, which is insane. That's 30% more power stone chance. That's 17% more gumbo energy if you drop down those statues. So you definitely have to uh, try to max out your sculptor as fast as possible. I'm gonna do a couple more attacks in a bit and then I'll probably gym up the rest. So it'll probably cost me around 200 diamonds, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop a like if you enjoyed. And that is it for HQ15 gameplay. Now we're on the HQ16 and we can push up to level 41. So I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, please use code COSMIC in the shop. It supports all of the giveaways we do. So if you don't know, we do giveaways constantly on our Discord server. A link is down below. You have to be 13 or over to join. And uh, this is how we support it, code COSMIC. So use code COSMIC. Bye, guys.